Hey guys! I know! Hasn't been a while, right? So, I'm back with Sarabi, the man, and it's just gonna be like a an update video slash um, vlog me talking about Sarabi. And actually, to be honest, I don't really know what kind of video this is gonna be because I just turned on the camera and started talking. So yeah, um... This is Sarabi, as you know, and he just shed two days ago, and he is up to 4'3 now, so he's 4 feet and 3 inches, and I didn't even realize that he grew this fast, but he really did grow quite fast, and I did not expect it, but, um, because the last I measured, he was 3... I think three and a half um and then all of a sudden he's over four feet now so I will show you his his shed right over here so that's quite quite long oh yeah that is it and he's been doing very well. He's still on a mouse a week. Um, he's doing good. No, no um, injuries from the mice whatsoever or any problems with that. What are you doing? Hmm? But, um, a first happened. I actually got bit. Um, let's see, when was it? I think two or three weeks ago, he was um, eating. It was it was the normal um, accident bite. He was eating his mouse, and he was really having trouble like figuring out where to to begin swallowing it. So I was just going to stick my hand in there and pick up the mouse and let him restrike, um, but. That didn't happen because whenever I stuck my hand in there, I noticed he looked at me, not my, me, but my hand, you know, because he was in extreme feeding mode. And he looked at my hand and he was tracing it, so then I pulled my hand out and I kind of tapped him on the nose. I just I just put something in front of his nose and um, then he backed up a little bit. But as soon as I put my hand back in there, he just bit at it. But um, he didn't hold on or anything. It was my natural reaction to pull away, so it did kind of uh, rip the skin a little bit, but he didn't pull out any teeth, thankfully, and it was fine. It healed up fine. It was just like a cat scratch. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, you need to go to the doctors, but I was like, um, it's just a snake bite. It's really no different than like a cat scratch. So, um, I, I feel kind of good that I got my first bite, and now I know what it feels like, but, um... I mean, he he seems to be fine from it, too. I don't think he he didn't hurt his teeth or anything. So. Everything is good. And it honestly hurt more than I expected because his teeth are quite sharp. But, um, I mean, as soon as he let go, it didn't hurt anymore. So it did, it did bruise a little bit, though. It bruised. But, um... And then I just cleaned it out and healed, whatever. And, um, I, his enclosure looks a little bit different from the last time that y'all might have seen it. So, um, I'll go over that in just a minute. But I wanted to tell you about his, um, weight and everything and just, like, how much he's grown. As you can probably see, he's grown quite a bit. He is um, one pound and eight ounces, and four three, and he is. Let's see, he'll be three in May, so he's two years and seven months. Very sweet, very nice. Um, my mom is still scared of him now. After he bit me, she's never thought the same of him, but. I know he's still my baby, and that 
It was just his natural behavior. What do you expect? And here's a close-up of him. Doing very well. I'll insert some pictures and, um, yeah. But that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you guys want any types of videos. Um, what, what kind of videos you guys want. I know someone requested a feeding video, so I put that up when I got a chance. And, um, I will go over my setup, my, uh, new new setup um in in another video so I'll catch you guys later